Being a racist in 2020 will get you cancelled, but apparently Flamingo doesn't care. Today I'm gonna go over Flamingo is racist. Welcome back to Roblox Chicken, let's get into the video. What's the tea? So unless you live under a rock, you must have heard about the whole Flamingo controversy. It all started when someone on Twitter posted an old audio clip of Flamingo. In the clip, he can be heard saying the T word. This tweet has left many Flamingo fans shocked, while other people are outraged with the whole situation. Although it isn't the first time we've heard a big YouTuber say mean things in their video, it doesn't mean we can just let it slide by. We are now in the year 2020 and it's about time we leave our old nasty habits behind. No one should be using offensive swear words, period, especially those who have a huge following and more importantly, if their audience is mostly kids. Most of Flamingo's fans are young children who shouldn't have gotten exposed to such hateful language. Besides this, these remarks have deeply hurt the LGBTQ community. Harming an already marginalized group, now that's a low blow. Sorry that you're a zombie! Oh my god! Whoa! Oh! Dude, nobody- Memes. Albert is known for his memes. Some of them include Yo Tango, Earthworm Sally, Sue, Tart, Felipe, Still Chill, Old Woman Man, Mr. Room Foam, Sunscreen Eater, Sammy the Strawberry, Respect the Vets, Cletus, Get Noob, Yas Queen, Re, Depressed Scooby Doo, Dr. Clump, Ugly SCP Tato, Epic Games, Not Accepting the Blame, and E. Yo Tingo, a Spanish phrase which translates to I have, uses a reference to the large Spanish and Mexican majority of Roblox. Life sucks. In many of his recent videos, he will briefly say that life sucks, making some fans concerned. He has made some entire videos about sad games like Cry Simulator or Crying Simulator. He has also made a video of him making a death game, Die of Thirst Simulator, which got banned soon after release. Bloody Diarrhea, an old joke from his channel Albert Stuff, he would say this if he saw someone wear a type of pants called Chainsaw Man Pants. Sunscreen Eater, a phrase he's been referencing a Roblox player that has a white face. Respect the Vets, a reference to the various army and war related groups on Roblox. Check it, just like the chill face, which is below. Still Chill, a reference to the chill face on Roblox, frequently used by Albert in his videos to convey a sense of relaxation in difficult and or stressful times. He is also known for creating many characters in his videos, some of which include Earthworm Sally, a humanoid life earthworm that reportedly carries various forms of diseases from the east coast to the west coast of the United States. In the theme song, it is made known that her diseases have a sphere of influence from as far as Florida and Cali. Oh my god. Ew. Ew. Oh, this is what you're doing, huh? The background. The news of Flamingo being cancelled has taken the Roblox community by storm, and why wouldn't it? Flamingo is such a big name among the Roblox content creators. He has over 7 million subscribers on his YouTube channel alone. Talk about impressive. Before he became famous as Flamingo, he had another channel. His first channel was called Albert Stuff, after Flamingo's real name. Here, Albert uploaded a ton of videos. However, he couldn't earn much revenue on his channel, as the videos had a lot of abusive language. So he discontinued his channel and made a new one. The controversial clip that's going around on Twitter was also probably taken from this channel. It's not hard to find such clips if you try. Back in the day, Albert didn't hold back when it came to swearing. At the time, he probably thought it was funny. But now it's landed him in hot waters. Real funny. Why, are you not, why did you not take damage? Oh god, we got a stupid admin here. Cuffs. I will. The apology. So after the uproar from old and new fans alike, Flamingo had a few words to say. Albert, aka Flamingo, uploaded an apology note on his Twitter. In the note, he addressed his use of inappropriate language. It's no secret that he used to make tons of insensitive jokes in the past. That's what his persona was mostly about, making edgy jokes and content. But the past is in the past. Albert says he has put those days behind him. He doesn't like to discuss this topic very much. For this reason, he has also moved away from the kind of content he used to put up on YouTube in the early days. Albert said he didn't have to think that his words could actually hurt people. He didn't believe that they could have that much weight to them. The jokes are his own, but Albert says they are not a true representation of what he stands for, which is why he has promised to make better content in the future. He is planning on making videos that are inclusive of all communities. Flamingo apologized thoroughly for the damage his words have caused while vowing to never do the same again. Hello? I can't believe I spotted that dude right here. So what now? While we are no one to forgive Albert, we can't help but say that's right, his apology. It sounds quite genuine and heartfelt. Let's be real, no one's perfect. We all swear and many of us have used some pretty offensive words at times. Flamingo is also in the same boat. He said something nasty because he thought people would find it funny. His intention wasn't to hurt people with it, he was just being dumb. Also, we must remember that this clip is from when Albert was still a teenager. It's from a time when swearing was accepted. Recently, however, YouTube has put up a strict no swearing policy. Also, just the general environment online has completely changed. Curse words and abusive language are not tolerated, not one little bit. So, in retrospect, swear words are terrible, but we can't actually just cancel someone's career over uttering them. Everything should be taken in context, and even though Flamingo said some really nasty stuff in his past, 
he doesn't deserve to be canceled just yet. Ah, 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 I'm hiding. Dude, I'm way too scared to actually fight people. Because <laughs> I don't know what their Wi-Fi, I don't know what her Wi-Fi. To the end of our video, I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye and take care.